And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. On Saturday, then on Monday. Now the starting group for the visitors. Lights out out there with buckets. Then it's Brooks. Then it's Anthony. And it's Robinson. In at the two. Houdini is out there with Big Cat. Then it's Cool Hands. Then there's Champ. And it's Jones in at the point guard position. Looking at the long season ahead, Brent, as a veteran player, what are some of the habits that keep your body going strong, staying healthy? Teams have really gotten hip to the idea that we need to rest our, our star players as much as possible. So efficiency with the work that they do, I think, is the most important thing. Star guys who get into practice and are on the court for 50 minutes to an hour every day so that there's a rhythm that they can keep and the teammates can keep up along with them on the floor. That, that's what it's about for those guys. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Now here's Anthony. Let's it go from 11. That's good on the jump shot. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. Here's Champ. Back to Jones. Over Robinson. No good off the back of the rim. Anthony finds Robinson. Here's Black. Three-pointer. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. Yeah, no question. When he is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor, it is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. Brooks kicks to Anthony. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Right block shot. Brooks the pass to Buckets. And it's blocked. And they'll keep possession. Here's Jones. He's coming off a 16-point game again. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Stanley, the pass to Jones. Will it go? Anthony with the block. And here we go with Brooks running it up the court. Can't connect from short range. Gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Carey. Goes back up. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, that's a, a healthy make there after missing their first four shots. One of five. Not what they wanted, but they're on the board. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One misses. Gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Pass to Black. Here's Buckets. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. This is his first trip to the line tonight.
and the first one drops. He hits both from the strike. Gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Passes to Houdini on the wing, Jones. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Just five on the clock. Has to stand. On deep. Connects from three-point range. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Anthony, the pass to Robinson. Here's Black. Anthony looking it over. Now the pass to Buckets. Misses the lane. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Anthony down low, working on Jones. A shot by Anthony, no good. Robinson with the block. And here we go with Anthony, running it up the court. Here's Buckets, it's blocked. But they'll get another chance. Pass to Black. They shoot again. Now here's Brooks. He's guarded closely. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. one at the line is good. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Thing in the early going here, pretty dreadful, 22%. Jones against Anthony. Stolen by Brooks. Out to Anthony. Back to Brooks. Over Jones. Brooks the pass to Buckets. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Free throw missing. White, he's checked in for champ. That one is no good. Anthony against White. Here's Jones. Robinson with the block. 
and they're able to recover. Jones, the pass to Cool Hands. Anthony against White. Anthony down low. Can't cash in from close range. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Black grabs the board. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. And White with the block. Here's Jones. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. D, he's checked in for Houdini. Here's Big Cat. Nine points last game. Right the pass to Cool Hands. Passes it to Jones. Here's Big Cat covered by Anthony. Shot clock at six. And Anthony sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony. Baker, he's checked in for Big Cat. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Anthony, the pass to the kid. To the inside, the machine. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Outside, Jones. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Especially in the playoffs, Brent, so much can change when a player gets into foul trouble. You see the league ever modifying that foul out rule? I know that they do that in the summer league where you can stay on the court for 10 fouls as elimination, yeah. but it's a technical every <laughs> time. Break. I, yeah. I don't break. see the league doing that. Do I think stop. it's... It's good for the game so that star players or meaningful players, ones that play specifically on defense, they have to have responsibility for what it is that they're doing on the floor. And if they're overly aggressive, you should be penalized for playing that way. The professors checked in for Anthony. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. The professor passes to Brooks over Jones, and Brooks gets it to go. Brooks has got his second bucket of the night. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. On the wing, Jones. Pass to D. Back to Jones. Brooks grabs the board. Brooks has got rebound number seven for him tonight. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Here's Cool Hands. Nine point game is last outing. Kicks it to Jones. Lock at six. Puts it up. And Pierce pulls it down. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Now here's Jones. The pass to Cool Hands. White looking around. Passes it to D. That one doesn't drop. Nice D from Brooks. Been down around 24%. Obviously, they've struggled. The rebound by Baker. 
Brooks has gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field here. To the middle, and he bangs it home with one hand. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Here's the kid. His last outing, he had eight points. The machine passes to the kid. 157 left to play in the first. Six to shoot. Stolen away. Here's Cool Hands. That does not fall. Still looking for his first basket after three shots. Out to the wing. Trying his luck from deep. Hands it from downtown. Now White. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. It's Jones on the wing. D passes to Jones. Looking to get it going. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Morris checked in for cool hands. He hits the second from the line. 121 left to play in the first quarter. Harris kicks to Pierce. Harris, right side. Here's Huffman. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. First trip to the line for him here. Makes the first. No good on the second free throw. Baker in the corner. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Pass to the professor. Out to Harris. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the first. Five to shoot. A floater. That shot misses. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Outside, Jones. The three sinks the triple. Jones has got five now. <laughs> and he needed that one to try to regain some confidence. Tough start, just one of nine from the floor. And here's Pierce. On the wing, Harris. There's the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And so it's the visiting team. Headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we'll be back with you shortly. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. 
And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. Jones is out there with Champ, and there's Maverick. Then it's D, and it's Baker in at the power forward. Jones in the post, covered by Smith. Jones, no luck. And, and they continue to control the glass. Big Dog is out there with the machine. And it's Smith. Then there's Harris. And it's Pierce in at the three, the small forward. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does so the size paying off you've got Baker champ out there with Jones and there's Maverick and it's D and it's an here's Pierce it's blocked and it ends up out of bounds and they'll keep possession buckets he's checked in for big dog So it's the visitors now. Seven point game, the biggest lead in the game. Smith dishes to Pierce. Harris outside. Four on the clock. The three ball. And he's good on the three ball. Harris has got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. Jones, the pass to Stanley. Back to Jones. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. So both teams making some changes here. Four on the shot clock. Inside, Big Cat, the pass to stand. A three-pointer off the mark. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. The machine passes to Black. Pass to Harris. The three. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. And the pass to Houdini. Throws it up high, deflects the pass. Smith right side. Back to Black. Harris outside. Down low, buckets, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Brett, so many guys are now shooting from well beyond the arc. Who do you think has the deepest range in the league? I think Steph Curry has the, the most consistent, deepest range. He is Lillard in, is in that category. Lillard is in there, and, and, and of course, last year's playoff win will, will never uh, go away right. in terms of uh, what a great memory that was. Trey Young is is now entering that category. Kevin. Yeah, I mean, we saw name. that right. at the end of last year. Uh, his fearlessness in pulling up from just about anywhere has been pretty remarkable. And to that, I will add one Brooke Lopez who yeah. has found his way well <laughs> beyond the three point line. He's a whole nother conversation. We'll talk about him later. We'll do that. He's perfect from the line this time. Gone 0 4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. Yeah, his shot is just not there tonight, guys. And instead of trying to shoot himself out of the slump, maybe he needs to start moving the ball around and creating for his teammates.
And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Anthony up on top, defended by Jones, and it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony. Anthony against Jones. Passes it to Stanley. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And so he's able to get one of two. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. The machine passes to Anthony. Let's it go from the wing. They get the rebound. Count the bucket. And he's got a free That's throw good. coming up as well. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. trips at all they're taking care of business at the line gone 0 of 4 in the second quarter obviously that needs to change Jones against Anthony Jones looking for an opening got a piece of it hate to say it but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Now that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Now here is Robinson. Anthony left side. Rob. Houdini passes to Stanley. Pass to Big Cat. He kicks to Jones. Here's Champ, guarded by Robinson. Out of hand on it, but he gets it back. Shot clock at two. Jones, no luck. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And that one's good, Anthony. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Now here's Jones. He has five. Here's Big Cat. And there's the pass to Stanley. Hits the three-point bomb. Champ's got four points this quarter. You've got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And coaches looking to seize every advantage 
maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Here's the kid, white covering. Anthony kicks to Brooks. Pass to Anthony. Six on the shot clock. Here's Robinson. Brooks, the pass to Buckets. The second chance effort. Out to Anthony. It's up a three. The offensive rebound, buckets, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Six attempts for him at the line. He's made four. He misses the free throw. Last year, the average salary for a starting point guard, Brent, in the NBA, was the highest among all positions. Why, why would that be? Well, with the way the game has changed, Kevin, there, there's certainly an emphasis on being able to find guys who are initiating offense, scoring the basketball, shooting three-pointers, and you're seeing a big shift in, in salaries between point guards and bigs. That's where the biggest disparity is. Uh, centers in the league are getting less and less mm -hmm. of an opportunity to have uh, the extended big money contracts because the game has moved to the perimeter and if you're a big that cannot play on the perimeter there's not a lot of teams that are willing to invest a significant amount of their cap space into the center position they want guards and wings who can play out there and do the damage for them and I don't care what his size is you cannot forget to box him out he's just got a nose for the ball and he is fearless in attacking the glass here's Anthony can't hit from 12 maybe a time to rest him right now just give him a bit of a breather try to help him get back on track No good on that one. Jay's checked in for Anthony. And he sinks the second. Being 33% in the second quarter. The offense has looked crossed up and confused at times. The kid passes to Buckets. Here's Francis. Pass to Robinson. The shot from 20 feet away. Goes up again. And it's White with the rebound. And he's missed every single shot he's attempted today, but but somehow they're still in the lead. Pass to Big Cat. Kicks to White. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rain Man. That's his third foul of the game. And already his third foul. It's got to be time to get him out of there probably until the third quarter. Pierce has checked in for buckets. Here's Champ, Pierce covering, and it's blocked. Stanley, the pass to Baker. 
He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Baker's got his first basket. Yeah, draw the D in, kick it out for the open shot. That's taking the page straight out of your textbook. Well done. Robinson passes to the kid. To the paint. Here's Francis. It's blocked. One on one fast break. Here's Cool Hands. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. The professors checked in for Robinson. What's up? So it's the visitors now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. And facing an opponent that they really weren't expected to beat. I was really happy to see that they showed no intimidation at all. Now here's Pierce. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Beyond the clock. Off the mark and the drop continues. About 26% out there. They need to get a better look. The pass to Cool Hands. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. No question. He got bumped on that shot. He's off on the first. And they're having a lot of trouble at the line today. And unfortunately, it's the kind of day we've seen this team have a lot. Harris has checked in for Jay. Good on the second free throw. 133 left in the second quarter. Here's the kid. Right wing. Just five to shoot. They could use a bucket. Here's Brooks. The rebound by Baker. And 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. D guarded by Harris. Passes it to Stanley. Rejected by Harris. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. at ghastly 26% from the field. Their offensive game looking completely out of whack. Here's the floater. No good. That's this number two against three makes from the field. Right the pass to Stanley. 20 seconds left to play here in the half. Shot clock at six. White doesn't get it to drop for him. Some solid defense from Harris. Brooks kicks to Harris. Back to Brooks. Over White. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with the wristwatch there. He knew the time, he executed. And so it's the visiting team. 
holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Checking out the visiting team. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed. The joke they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Well, obviously, they were outshot. I thought they mailed it in too many times in terms of their effort. People weren't moving, they weren't screening, and they definitely weren't hustling. They need to hit the ground running to be competitive in the second half, or they could get blown out. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Nice game. Great performance by Harris. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. Around 24%. Not a good showing here. They've got Brooks. Buckets is out there with lights out. Then it's Anthony, and it's Robinson in at the two-guard position. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. A terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them to say the least. He lobs up the alley oop pass. Up high to stuff the alley oop. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Pass to Houdini. Going by Robinson. Now running up the court. Robinson pushing it up. And the dunk by Robinson. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Here's Houdini. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Stanley, and it's denied. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Offensive rebound out to Anthony. Nice open look, but it's no good. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Big Cat, the pass to Cool Hands. The pass to Big Cat. Lock at six. The jump hook. That one falls. Big Cat's got nine. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Anthony, the pass to Robinson. Here's Black. Black. 
from 12 feet out. And it's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. Morris check in for Champ. Just three to shoot. Robinson for three. Offensive rebound. Buckets passes to Anthony. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And, you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And he can't hit the second. Being a ghastly 26% from the field. Their offensive game looking completely out of whack. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Anthony against Moore. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. First one falls for And so he makes both from the line. Gone one of three since starting the second half. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Jones against Anthony. And it's blocked. Brooks with it. Nine points in the game so far. Releases. Shots good by Anthony. Anthony's got seven points. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Passes it to Big Cat. That one drops for him. Big Cat's got six in the quarter. Well, any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good one. Anthony kicks to Robinson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. good on the free throw and 
and he's good on the second. Gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. It's Jones on the wing. Big cap, the pass to Jones, and Anthony sends it back. But they recover it, and that one drops for him. Gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Pass to Brooks. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Shoot two. The first one falls. Jay's checked in for lights out. Both free throws good for Brooks. Guys, their comeback bid had better get started. I don't know, guys. It's going to take a pretty big run to get back in this one. Jones, the pass to Big Cat. Here's the break. And to get open is Robinson. Rebounded by Moore. And 27% the offense is just embarrassing themselves. Jones for three. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Anthony on the wing. Buries the 20-footer. Anthony's got five points in the quarter. Being a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Here's Jones. And he banks in the layup. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Now here's Anthony. Nine points in the game so far. Outside Robinson. Shot clock at five from downtown. That shot off. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Kicks it out to Jones. Pass to Big Cat. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And that's 13 points for Big Cat. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Jones against Anthony. Over Jones. They get it back. And another shot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First one drops. Both teams will make substitutions. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Throwing even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. To the wing on the left. There's the pass to Baker. Now White. No points in the game yet for him. Here's D. The putback. Out to White. Passes to Jones. There's Baker. Run 
from deep three-point range. Brooks grabs the board. And the ball poorly, just 28%. The kid passes to Anthony. Brooks outside. Pass to Pierce. Outside Anthony. Pass to the professor. From deep. A shot that time, not on target. Being only 27% from the field, looking pretty ugly out there. Big cap, the pass to Jones. Here's D, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And the first one at the line is good. Champs checked in for Big Cat. That one misses. 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Yep, that one goes. The kid's got his first basket of the night. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. On the wing, Jones. D passes to Jones. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Jones has got 10 points. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Now here's Brooks. He's got 12. And the pass to the kid from the arc. The rebound by Baker. Baker's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's deflected. Stolen by Brooks. Here's for three. The rebound by Baker. Baker's got five rebounds tonight. 125 left in the third. Jones drives in. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, the defender all over it. That free throw, no good. No luck that time either. 28% a rocky rocky performance for them offensively over to the left wing back to Brooks got a piece of it and it's out of bounds last touch by Jones you love the pressure he's putting on them almost had that steal yeah pestering right now and that's gonna pay some dividends at some point there's gonna be a turnover It's Pierce on the wing. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Outside, Jones. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. 
uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Blacks checked in for the professor. And 35 percent or so in the third quarter. Whatever they're trying is not working. Like the pass to Anthony. Here's the kid. 29 seconds left to play in the third. Shot clock at six. They get it back. Gone seven for 16 in the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. Stanley, the pass to Jones. To the left side wing. Here's Stanley, and that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here's D, and it is good at the buzzer. Wow! One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with the wristwatch there. He knew the time. He executed. And so it's the visiting team bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. The visitors with the ball. We've got Champ. White is up there with Baker. Then it's D, and it's Jones in at the one spot. They get it again. Brooks. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, easy call. First free throw is good. Free throw is good for Brooks. And here's Jones. Inside. Here's Champ. Passes it to Baker. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Stanley. And Pierce pulls it down. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Good from Pierce. And that 
that's good as he hits both of his shots. And the home team has possession. 11 point game. The pass to Stan. Back to Jones. Puts it up from 12. Clock at four. Misses the three. It wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. Anthony finds Pierce. And it's blocked. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Outside, Jones. Pass to D. Pass to Stanton. It's tipped. Here's the kid. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Outside Anthony. It's stolen by Jones. And now here comes Jones leading the break. That one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. Robinson with it. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Jones against Anthony. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Black. That three off the mark. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. Gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. Anthony, no one around. And the three ball is good. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. And he gets it back. And so out of bounds it goes. They'll keep possession. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. White finds Jones. 
five on the clock. Second shot opportunity. And really, after that strong first half, he has been in quite the tailspin. That's tipped and stolen by White. Houdini passes to Cool Hands. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. The dunk with a foul on top of it. So strong. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. One of four since the end of the third quarter. Anthony against Jones. Anthony dishes to Brooks. Here's Black. And White with the block. But they get it back. Just two to shoot. Robinson for three. It's not going to go for him. He didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Now, here is Robinson. The pass to Buckets. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Robinson's got his third assist on the night. It's Jones on the wing. Passes to Big Cat. Back to Jones. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. And that one falls for Jones. Both good from the line that time. We've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Now here's Anthony. Pass to Buckets. From 10 feet out, and misses it off the right side of the rim. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. A shot missing. Gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Comes Baz Robinson. 
And that one, good. And that's 11 points for Buckets. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another, Greg. There's Cool Hands, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Six points for Cool Hands. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. Robinson kicks to Anthony. Knocked away. Jones with it. He's picked up by Brooks. Jones the pass to Cool Hands. Here's Black defended by Jones. A nice shot by Black. Of all the action happening there Kevin it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Now here's Jones and that one goes long. Here's Buckets and it's blocked. Here's Cool Hands, covered by Anthony. Outside Robinson. He kicks it to Anthony. It's deflected. And there's the pass to Big Cat. Back to Jones. From down in the low post, it goes. Jones has got 19 points. That's pretty unselfish there. He sees that there's a better shot on the perimeter and bang, just kicks it out. Anthony, the pass to Black. Six to shoot. Anthony finds Robinson. No good and tight defense there. Bothered that shot. And now Brooks running the floor all by himself. And Jones sends it back. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. <laughs> On defense, the home team. Trailing here by eight. Brooks kicks to Anthony. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Champs checked in for White. Now here's Jones. To the inside. Good work defensively by Anthony. In the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Down low, Brooks. That's tipped. 141 left here in the fourth quarter. Anthony against Jones. To the middle. Here's Houdini. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists in the game. Now Anthony. That shot off. Excellent lead that time from Jones. Here's Houdini. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Houdini's got four points this quarter. 111 left to play here in the fourth. Outside Anthony. Trying to end the drought. Sinks the three-pointer. Anthony's got 11 points here in just the second half. And there aren't many players more reliable from three-point range than he is, especially when the D's playing off him like that. Now here's Jones. Here's Stanley. Good! And now they trail by just four. And the crowd is loving 
this long-range bomb attack that we're seeing here tonight coming right back to answer a three with one of their own. Brooks, the pass to Anthony. Back to Brooks. Just five on the clock. Good on the short little jump shot. Well, a huge bucket there to strifle the crowd. Yeah, very little to cheer about for them at the moment. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Big Red. He's kept a lot of their possessions alive with his work on the offensive glass. You can't measure what that kind of effort means to a team. Not just in terms of the second chances those rebounds create, but also for the example it sets. Second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Jones. Here's Stanley. From outside, off the mark. And they go to the intentional foul. Here's Anthony. And an intentional foul right there. It's the first and that makes it a seven point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Goose, the pass to the kid. From deep three-point range, the shot, no good. Here's Francis. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, Gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.